For a moment, think about what good and evil exactly is. For example, imagine the universe without human beings in it and now try to classify things as good or evil. You can see the point that you cannot classify anything else other than human beings as good or evil. So what makes us eligible for this classification? One important thing is our ability to choose our actions. We can choose what to do and how to be, and hence we are held responsible for our actions. But is good and evil something subjective or something objective? So does it all exist in our minds or does it exist even beyond our mental realms? For example, everyone knows what is good in one society may be prohibited in some other society. What is acceptable now was not acceptable centuries ago and vice versa. There are always differences in various religions about what is moral and immoral. So how do we decide what is right and what is wrong? and which religion's teachings should we follow to decide it? And what makes something right or wrong? Well, we are not talking in terms of the law, because there are a lot of things which are morally wrong but still legally acceptable, while there are other things which are morally permissible but are prohibited by the law. For example, harming a dog or a cat or a parent unintentionally hampering the confidence of his or her child. All these things are morally wrong but still legally permissible. Well, those who believe in God or follow some religion are exempted from giving a thought to these questions because they already have their answers. All that which is permitted by God is good and all that which is prohibited by God is bad. Had it not been for Plato, they would not have had to give another thought to their delusional belief. Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher, asked the question, which is also known as the Euthyphro Dilemma. Is something good because God says it is good or God says it is good because it is good? Basically, what Plato is asking is, if you have to choose between God's commandment and what you think is right, what would you choose? Now this question really cuts into the heart of the morality of all the religions of the world. Because if something is good because God says it is good, then tomorrow if God says murder or any other crime is good, then it will have to become good. But that looks ridiculous because we know that it still would be wrong to kill someone, particularly someone innocent, even if God commands so. So we can see that something cannot become right only because God says it is right, or something cannot become wrong only because God says it is wrong. And if our morality is independent of God, then the whole point of God telling us what is right and wrong becomes ridiculous. Most thinkers say that morality is something subjective and each one can decide what's right and wrong for himself or herself while there are others who think that that would lead to a chaotic society if everyone starts deciding what is right and what is wrong for themselves. Some thinkers, however, say that morality is something objective, but instead of deferring to some external authority like God or some holy scripture or some leader to decide what is right and what is wrong, we must defer to our own conscience when it comes to morality. So what do you think? This week's wisdom comes from the philosopher Plato. Good people will behave well irrespective of the laws, while bad people will find loopholes in the laws to do what they want to do. You can write to us how you found the video in the comments below. Also, if you get offended when you are made to think on these topics, make sure you don't subscribe to our channel because we will be bringing you more of such videos in the coming future. Thank you for watching.